Welcome. Today I would like to talk about Webpack and how you can use it to improve uh, the module loading in JavaScript. So let's get started. Basically, uh, I have a, a here a, a program in JavaScript which is serving a page and it is doing some handlebars and data table and it is loading the scripts in the traditional way. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, Webpack, you can search on the web or also I, have, I added a link here to go to the Webpack's website and you can learn more as to how to do this as well. So let's get started. So basically, let me just uh, show you what uh, uh, this is doing. So if I look at the page, basically it's loading some scripts from npm uh, node and I've got the script jQuery JS data table and then boots, data table bootstrap and handlebars. And the main program is essentially app.js and just loading all these scripts. If you look at the network, you can see it's getting all those scripts. So let's just uh, take a quick look uh, how you can do module loading with WebCap where you don't have to repeat all these things. So if you look at it, these are all the scripts that are being done here. And uh, so instead of doing all this, what you can do is you can comment this out and uh, just have essentially one script uh, included which I have named this bundle.js and you can name it pretty much anything you want and you can create a, a config file called webpack.config.js this is a standard name if you want to name it you can name it to something else but when you run the command you'll have to give uh, a file name parameter so basically what this is, it says that the entry for this app is app.js where I have a file app.js and the output is going to be bundle.js. That's what we are including in index.html here. And, uh, and I'm going to use it in a mode where I can do Chrome debugging. So I can give it an additional option called dev tool uh, generates the source maps. So we will be able to debug this in a normal fashion. So make, to make it, uh, what you want to do is, first of all, you have to install the Webpack and you can install it using npm install. And uh, I install it globally so I can run it for all my programs. I, I can say Webpack and it's going to save my configuration. Then what you can do is you can uh, run the Webpack uh, with these parameters. This is basically showing that it's going to show the progress and the colors and it's going to watch for any of the changes. And I've already have this uh, running in, in a, a window here. So you can see the command I gave in was the webpack progress colors watch. And it is uh, essentially watching this file and creating a bundle.js and bundle.js map file. So how do you convert this? What you want to do is obviously the first thing here. Then what you want to do is go into your app.js and add uh, all the module dependencies that you have. So here uh, I have uh, several things that I'm depending on. So I'm going to say uh, dollar, I'm going to use dollar as uh, requiring jQuery. And then I'm going to say handlebars is going to require, this is the source location for the uh, browser version of the handlebar where I can compile it in the browser. So I'm going to include that. And uh, here I'm including the data tables.net and I'm going to say var dt is equal to data tables.net. So once I have done all of this, I should be able to go and run this uh, again, back again. And here what you might notice is that it's creating this webpack uh, files. And uh, here you can see uh, I got my original file app.js that I wanted to kind of uh, debug because that's what we'll be debugging. And here you can see it rendered everything fine, so which is very good. And here if I can uh, just uh, run it and show you the debugging here, you can see the element HTML is here and uh, you can uh, essentially go forward. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to include Webpack for bundling. And the advantage is you don't have to, these files will get loaded when they are needed and they get bundled into one thing. If you look at the bundle, it's going to have uh, the various ways and you can easily debug it as well. So I would encourage you to uh, learn more about Webpack and try to see how you can easily incorporate it into your own uh, programs. If you want to learn more about you can go to my uh, website and search for any video you like and I'm going to include uh, this under webpack so you'll be able to see that as well. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.